Hello and welcome to another Excel Tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in today's video, I'm going to give you a demo of a new Excel feature called Focus Cells. Now, when this feature is enabled, whenever you select a cell, it is going to highlight the entire row and the entire column of that selected cell. So it is going to make it easier for you to navigate when you're working with large data set. Now this feature is currently in beta, so it's not available to everyone, but soon it would be available for everyone using Excel with Microsoft 365, Excel on the web, and also Excel on Mac. So now let me show you how this works. You can find the focus cell option in the view tab in the ribbon. And when I click on it, you can see in the show group, I now have this new option called focus cell. Now, if you do not have it uh, and you're using my Excel with Microsoft 365, you should soon have it because this is right now in beta. Now see what happens when I select any cell and I click on focus cell option here, it would instantly highlight the entire row and the entire column of this selected active cell. And this is quite useful when you're working with large data sets. So when you are scrolling uh, back and forth, then it is difficult to keep track of the data in the same row or in the same column. So with this feature, it would be easier for you to keep track of your data. Now also, it only highlights the row and column of the active cell. So even if you highlight an entire range, it would continue to only highlight the active row and the active columns. So the row and column of the active cell. So in this case, my active cell is B3. So it highlights the third row and the second column. Now you can change the color of the highlight. So if I go here and I click on this small drop down icon, I see these two additional options, focus cell color and show auto highlight. Let me talk about the focus cell color first. So here I can change the color. So if I let's say select green, it changes the color of the highlight to green, but also it doesn't apply the exact same color you see here. It applies a lighter version of it because it doesn't want the text in the cell to be overtaken and overshadowed by the color. So it keeps the shade of the color a little light so that you can still see the data. Also, we have another option called show auto highlight. Now what, let me show you how it works. So let's say I have turned off the focus cell. So it's not highlighting the active row and the active column. But if I have this option enabled, it would still work in find and replace. So let's say I select this data and I am looking for the text US. So if I find this text, it is going to instantly highlight the entire row and the column of the cell where it finds this text. So let's say I go on find next. So it will, it is going to find the next cell and that cells entire row and column is going to be highlighted. So if this option is enabled, it will also work with find and replace. Now, one thing you can do is if this is something you need to use quite often, you can add this to your quick access toolbar. So simply come here, right click and then click on add to quick access toolbar. And as soon as I do this, it adds this icon here. So now I don't need to go to the view tab and then have another click on focus cell. I can just do this with one click where I can click on this focus cell icon, or you can hold the alt key and then use the keyboard shortcut where it gives you a number. So I can use alt nine in this case, if you're using, uh, if you're adding it to your quick access toolbar, the number would change according to the position. So you can use that keyboard shortcut as well. So I can use alt nine to uh, remove the focus cell and alt nine to enable it. Also, if you have already some cells that are colored, this is not going to be removed or replace it. It is going to work with the colors that you already have in the cell. For example, here, if I select this, you can see that I have blue color in this cell B4, but my focus cell green color now mixes with it. So I can see a combination of these two colors, but it's not removed. So you can see here, it, it's not a red, but it shows me a little brown color. So it is going to mix those two colors. Also, if you have conditional formatting, so here I have conditional formatting on these cells. And if I select this here, it is again going to work and it is going to give me a different color for the conditional formatting based on the focus cell color that I've chosen. So even if you have cells that are already colored either by fill cell color or by conditional formatting, this is going to combine the colors and give you a slightly different color. Also, this is an application level setting, which means that if I enable focus cell on one of my worksheets, and then I close the file and I open any other file, this option would remain enabled. So you would have to go back and you'll have to uh, switch it off if you do not want it. But as you can see, this is very easy to turn on and turn off. So you can have it in the quick access toolbar and just uh, one click that would enable or disable it. So this is the focus cell feature. It was highly requested and I'm so happy that Microsoft Excel now has it inbuilt. Now, if you're using an older version, then you can get the same functionality, but you will have to use a little bit of conditional formatting and VBA. So I would have a link to a video in the description where I've shown how you can do this for the older versions of Excel. 
that's it in this video i hope you found this useful also if you're liking these videos please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new excel tips video i come up with thank you and have a nice day